I have three quick and easy ways for you to use washi, so stay tuned. <coughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's transform your planner to a place where you can come so it's your cozy safe place this autumn. Before I get started I want to show you these little guys. They will make an appearance in your planner box subscription and next week I will have a full unboxing so if you want to know what's coming up then make sure you come back next week but if you don't want any spoilers it's okay you can watch this video. This is just a little sneak peek of what's coming. We all know that washi is a great way to decorate. There's so much potential on one little roll so let's get into these three quick tips. First we're going to add a tab to the side of a page. It's really quick and simple. Just cut off a piece the width of the tab and then fold it over on itself but leave a little bit so it sticks out to the side of your page. Making a washi clip is really simple and quick and it adds a lightweight clip to your page. It doesn't weigh your page down. All you need to do is cut a piece of washi and thread it through a paper clip. Now the hardest part is folding it over on itself so that the sides meet up. But once you get the hang of that, you've got a great little clip. And it's so versatile because you can use it to match your planner or coordinate and you can use any color, anything you have in your washi stash. I do have a bonus tip before we get to the third one and that is probably my favorite thing to do with washi and that is to run a strip of washi along the, either the top or the bottom of your planner page. You can also put it along the rings if you're in rings. Here I'm putting it on the top and I like to line it up with where the boxes of the days end. I'm using a Timmy's card. You can use whatever you have, maybe scissors. I like to line up my card with the edge of the day and then I know that it's straight and I do that on both sides. I find it a lot easier to put washi on a page when the book is actually folded over on itself instead of flat open. And number three is to mark off an event. If you have something that's spanning over a few days, run a strip of washi so that you could see at a glance when that activity takes place. It could be a vacation or it could be a an event at school or work, anything that's going to go over a few days. If you want to add to your washi stash then you can subscribe to the planner box because every planner box has washi. The cart for the latest box is now open and the theme for that is Whimsical Woodlands and that's where these little guys come in. There's also stickers in every box, other things could include pens, clips, paper, bookmarks, all kinds of fun things, everything you need to keep yourself organized and play in your planner. You can subscribe now, there's a link in the description below. There's also a lot more information there if you want to check it out. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip was today. If you've enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can do that here by clicking on my little face. Here are two more videos that I think you'll like. If you made it this far leave me the emoji of your favorite woodland animal in the comments below. Have a fantastic day and happy planning!